How's it going, you guys? Alex again from Inkton Tools. I'm going to make a quick video for you, a walkthrough of how to add a consent form to your automation process so that when your clients book an appointment, they get sent a consent form to fill out before their appointment. Let's check it out. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do, we're on a demo account here, is uh, on your website, um, in the web builder inside of Inkton Tools, you're going to add a consent form page. Um, so I've already done one here, but if you don't know how, you just click this add new page button here, label it consent form, super easy. So we're gonna go create from blank and we're gonna insert our consent form. Now your Inkton Tools account will come with a uh, template for a consent form that you can add or subtract whatever information you want uh, your clients to include with their consent form there um, or you can just use the template that it comes with so we get a blank page here we're going to click full width add row one column add element and we're going to hit form right here select your form consent form copy boom there's your consent form page. You're going to click save. And under the SEO title here, put consent. And then one other thing that I would recommend doing is up at the top of the page, uh, add another box and section that just puts any information you want to put, um, like please fill this out prior to your appointment or answer these questions or you know whatever you want your clients to read. So now that that's done, we're going to uh, go back and I'll show you how to integrate it into your automations. There's actually two different ways to do it, um, and I'll show you both. Okay, so the first way is going to be when your clients fill out their booking intake form, uh, once they submit the form, uh, I'm gonna show you how to make it redirect directly to the consent form so that right after they um, book their appointment, they have to fill it out. Okay, so the first way is um, gonna be, so right when they fill out their intake form, it's gonna redirect them uh, right away to the consent form and ask them to fill that out prior to their appointment. So you're going to go back to your website here. You're going to click on your calendar page and we're going to edit that. So go ahead and click edit page. So then you're going to select the calendar and down on the left hand side at the bottom here, there's a redirect action. So what you're going to do is select here, go to website URL and then you're going to type in your website name and then slash consent or whatever you named that redirect. Okay, so now that you have uh, that consent form built in your website, um, you can also create an automation and I'll show you how to do that. So you're going to go to automation and then in here, you're going to go to your appointment booking automation. You're going to click that and we'll make some changes. I'll show you how to edit that in. So um, if you want it done, like let's say before the appointment, obviously you don't want them after. So we're going to go right here is like the 24 hour reminder email. Um, you're going to hit add and we'll do it as an email, but you can do it as an SMS right here. Um, so we'll go send email. Um, you're going to put in your email, the subject line, your name, and then it's really simple. You'll just fill out, um, you know, Hey, um, and then you can use the custom values to put the contacts, uh, first and last name or full name. Um, so it'll auto fill that. Hey, contact, um, don't, don't forget how to spell. Don't forget to fill out this consent form for our appointment tomorrow. Okay, and then you would simply um, type, you know, put in the the uh, uh, web address there. So like demo tattoo.com slash consent or whatever you your whatever your domain is and then whatever you named that page uh whatever the path is um if you're if you want to really make sure that it's perfectly correct go back to the website preview that page and then copy and paste what's in the url up here 
uh, into the spot so that it's it's accurate, right? Uh, once that's done, you'll click save action uh, and then really, oh, it wants me to put a subject for consent. You'll click save action. And then as always with any automation, make sure you click save in the upper right hand corner. So that's just two simple ways that you can um, create an automation to make sure that your clients are filling out a consent form uh, when they book their appointment. Um, and just a reminder, uh, if you're not using the Inkton Tools web builder, uh, like let's say you're just using the Inkton Tools calendar link. Um, when you create a consent form under the sites and under the forms, uh, tab on the Inkton Tools website, it will still create a unique URL. And you can take that URL and embed it into an automation that goes out to your clients via text or email, uh, like I showed you in this video. Or if you have a website that's hosted elsewhere, not on Inkton Tools with a different web builder, you can still embed that consent form into your existing website. So if you're not using Inkton Tools for your web building and web hosting, you can still automate the consent form process. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any questions or any comments down below, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks. Good luck.